Hey party people, it's Megan. I just wanted to um, upload this tonight. It's a couple of things. Um, so let's start here. Last week, I felt God saying sooner than you think, but I kind of like brushed it out of my mind because I don't know y'all, I'm a little weird. Like sometimes if I don't understand or if I'm in a place where I'm having a hard time believing it, I just kind of like, yeah, 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 okay. I shouldn't be like that, but he did say that last week. Today, when I woke up, he told me any day now, and I was like, what are you talking about? If, I'm not going to fib to y'all. The last two nights, me and Abba have been in a good space. Like I told you, I did that release on Sunday, and you know, your girl been out here, you know, like laughing and smiling, and Abba been loving on me and stuff. I'm not going to fib to you. Um, also, hold on, let me let it loop back around. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. With that... Uh, part of my dream last night, because I had like four, five of them, maybe feeling like, but he kind of showed me like, I was trying to explain to Jay, like it was kind of like Candyland, but not really, but it was like these pieces, like these steps, and it was different colors, and I knew like I had made it past the hardest steps, like I feel like that's what he was telling me in my sleep last night, like when I woke up, like that was just so like solid, like I understood that, like Y'all don't know how close you are to the to where we're trying to get to, to your promise. Like, um, I would say it was like 15 pieces. And of the 15, it was like 12 out of 15 complete. And it was the hard ones that we've already completed. Like, when I tell y'all we so close, like, you already know how to move in these next few steps. These th Like, listen, everybody just breathe. Woo-sa, we've got past the hard part. Okay, but the real reason I wanted to make the video tonight um, so I had a vision the other day and he was like combing out snakes and I was like, Oh Lord, here we go with the snakes again. <laughs> because I don't never dream about snakes and something ain't up. Y'all know what I'm saying? So he was showing me that he was combing them out. And then today when I was praying, like I saw that again, but also hear me out. When I went to go pray tonight, like I was getting ready to pray against something and he literally just showed me like a hand, like an arm, just like wiping, just like the wiping motion. Like when, when the, the, the prophetic voices of God are saying like, he's wiping out this, he is wiping it out. I need y'all to feel me because I was literally getting ready to pray. And it was like, I got it. It's handled. Like I couldn't even pray it. Like his hand, I just saw the hand, just like the wiping motion. And let me run back to coming out the snakes real quick. They were like tangled up. So like, no matter what we're talking about, whatever's entangled up with this stuff that's not of God, he's combing it out in a way to where it's getting loose up off of it. And like, the vision was, listen, he's wiping these things out. Like y'all, it's an illusion. The devil trying to play with us right now. Like we so close and why like, we in it so close like defeating what's in the land in it so close. Like you, we got to be as wise as a serpent, but as harmless as a dove. Okay. Like, and when I tell you, I've been living in a state of deja vu, like it's constant, nonstop. Like I got like, how have I already seen all of this? Listen, we're here. We're here. And there's something else I'm going to tell y'all. So hold on. Let me loop I'm me. talking to my room shakers, my generational curse breakers, my game changers. Okay. My fellow peoples. We are at a place in life. We are entering a place of life. I realized this morning, y'all know like a lot of people die before they get here. Like, I just want y'all to think about the, the fasting, the prayer, the obedience, the sacrifice and the state of surrender we've been in, right? how hard this internal work has been for us to even come into the fruition, the manifestation of the things on the outside, the promises we had to put in the work to become these people. Like, listen, the devil mad. He's mad. He is our biggest hater. Okay. The devil is my biggest hater period. Like he mad. Cause he's not about to stop this mighty move of God. The way God's hand is moving on this earth right now, the devil can't stop it. And that is why he is trying you the way he is right now. Because he cannot stop what God is doing. So I just kind of want to encourage y'all. And one more thing. The enemy may be trying you through like people closest to you. So whether that's uh, your family, um, wh whoever you live with, whatever. 
like he might be trying you through those people. He told me to tell y'all to duck, okay? Because those spirits that are operating in them or um, whatever the reason the devil think he can move through them to get to you, God finna handle that, okay? Like when I tell you, I saw that arm just so wiping, but he said duck and I said duck and it was kind of like a funny like duck because he gonna handle them and you need you just need to duck, okay? So remember, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We, we don't wrestle against them. So just duck because God finna handle that demon. All right. So love y'all. Have a great night. Be blessed. All right, Afib, just some more. So this scene from this Noah's Ark movie that I saw once keeps coming into mind because y'all know it's been confirmed in the spirit that the rain is coming in. A lot of people are um, prophets of God, prophetic voices of God. They're mentioning Noah's Ark and stuff. And um, so that's been confirmed in the spirit. But Every time somebody talks about it, I keep seeing this one scene and it is this, I don't even know what the name of this movie was. I don't even know what network I saw. No, I was in my grandma's house, so y'all gotta forgive me. But I keep seeing this one scene and it's the scene when the rain starts and people are trying to get on the ark with Noah and them and they can't, but it's like, um, like, like the angels from heaven, like beam down like light and they like slashing, um, these giants, these demons and stuff. And like, all heck is breaking loose outside of the ark. Like that's the scene that I keep seeing every time somebody is talking about this rain coming and Noah's ark and stuff. And, um, hold on. Um, I prayed to Ernest pew tonight, rain on us. And, um, that's when the spirit fell on me when I was listening to that. And my spirit prayed this out loud, not Megan, but it was that the rain that we needed. Cause ain't nothing wrong with us believing and having faith that the rain that's coming is the blessings and the promises and stuff. Um, because we know he he opened up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, like showers of blessings, showers of blessings, you know. And so, um, but when I was praying, my spirit was like, Lord, that's the rain we need. Like, we need your spirit to rain on us. We need your spirit to breathe on us because we know that God's Holy Spirit, like, listen, it, it purifies, right? Like, refines and all that, like, for us, we need to burn up everything that's not of God, clean it, make it holy. But it also consumes and like burns up and casts back to hell those things that are not of God. And it's just kind of like, oh, like, like that's part of the rain. That's the rain, your spirit raining down from heaven. And for real, like the last two weeks, I see fire coming out of heaven. Not with my physical eyes, like my spiritual eyes. Like I be outside and it's like fire just falling out of heaven. And I know that's the judgment and the wrath. All that still stands. And I, if y'all like me, part of my promise is vindication. Part of my restoration is vindication. Like, I ain't told y'all that, but that's a part of it. So I know if that's here, like, it makes sense that my promise is here because, like, yeah, that ain't, that wasn't even cool how that transpired, like, at all. So let me stop talking because now I feel like I'm really talking to y'all like it's me and Jay on the phone. So, again, love y'all. Be blessed.